By now, you already know what a sentence is. You know that a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense by itself and does not depend on another word or group of words to do so. It has a subject and a predicate. So you have already learnt about complex sentences. Today we shall learn a little bit more about them. I gifted a car to my dad after I got my first job. Now this sentence is made up of two clauses. Let us see what the two clauses are. I gifted a car to my dad and after I got my first job. Now both these clauses have a subject as well as a finite verb. Let us see. I gifted a car to my dad has a subject I and a finite verb gifted. Similarly, the second clause after I got my first job has a subject I and a finite verb got. Now the second clause is starting with a subordinating conjunction. So we see that the first clause I gifted a car to my dad is an independent clause because it can stand on its own and makes complete sense. Whereas the second clause after I got my first job is a subordinate clause because it cannot stand on its own and also it starts with a subordinating conjunction. So we see that this sentence is made up of two clauses. One independent clause and one subordinate clause which has been joined with the help of a subordinating conjunction. So this sentence you have already learnt is a complex sentence. So what is a complex sentence? A complex sentence contains two or more finite verbs. In this sentence we have two or more finite verbs gifted and got. So we have two finite verbs in this sentence. It consists of one independent clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Now our sentence consists of one independent clause. I gifted a car to my dad and one subordinate clause after I got my first job. The complex sentence has clauses which are joined by subordinating conjunctions. In our sentence, our subordinating conjunction is after. Now let us look at this sentence. He is the man who won a Nobel Prize in literature. Now this sentence is also made up of two clauses. He is the man is an independent clause. Who won a Nobel Prize in literature is a subordinate clause which is doing the work of an adjective. It is describing the man. So this is an adjective subordinate clause. Now what do we see here? We see that this clause is joined with the main clause with the help of a relative pronoun who. Earlier you have learnt that in a complex sentence the subordinate clause is joined with the independent clause with the help of a subordinating conjunction. Here we see that the independent clause, he is the man, has been joined with the subordinate adjective clause, who won a Nobel Prize in Literature, with the help of a relative pronoun. Similarly, we see this example. I saw the man whom you lent your car to. So here, a subordinate clause is describing the man so it is an adjective clause which is starting with the relative pronoun whom. I bought a diary whose cover is made of leather. In this sentence also, whose cover is made of leather is an adjective clause which has been joined 
with the main clause or the independent clause I bought a diary with the help of a relative pronoun whose. This is the book that everyone is talking about. In this example also we see that that everyone is talking about is an adjective clause. It is a subordinate clause which has been joined with the independent clause with the help of a relative pronoun that. The regulations which he refers to are outdated. Here also the regulations are outdated is the independent clause which he refers to is describing the regulations. So this is an adjective clause which has been joined with the main clause with the relative pronoun which. So what do we see? We see that a complex sentence consists of one independent clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Now these clauses can be adjective clauses, noun clauses or adverb clauses and these clauses are joined by subordinating conjunctions or by relative pronouns like who, whom, which, whose and that. Now let us look at this example. This picture is taken in the park where I used to play. Now this is a complex sentence which has one independent clause this picture is taken in the park, one subordinate clause where I used to play but this subordinate clause has been joined with the relative adverb where. I do not know when I shall return. I do not know is the main clause here which is joined with the subordinate clause when I shall return with the help of a question word. When? When I shall return is the subordinate clause here which is doing the work of a noun. So this is a noun clause which is starting with the question word when. You must pay attention to what he advises on child care. Here also what he advises on child care is a noun clause which is starting with the question word what? Now I understand why you did not want to go to school. In this sentence also, why you did not want to go to school is the subordinate clause which is doing the work of a noun. So this noun clause is starting with the question word why. So this is a complex sentence which has a main clause attached to a subordinate noun clause with the help of a question word why. How she forgets to do things really concerns me. Here we have the noun clause in the beginning of the sentence starting with the question word how. So this is another example of a complex sentence. I know that he is guilty. I know is the main clause joined with a subordinate noun clause with the help of the word that. Now that can be omitted at times and we can say I know he is guilty. So what do we see? We see that sometimes the conjunction is omitted. Here the conjunction that is omitted and the meaning still remains the same. I know he is guilty. Now let us look at this long sentence. The young boys who reached the club early were disappointed that it was booked for a private party. Now this sentence is made up of many clauses. What are they? The young boys 
who reached the club early were disappointed that it was booked for a private party. Now this sentence is a complex sentence which is made up of many clauses. What are they? The young boys were disappointed. Now this part of the sentence is an independent clause or a main clause which can stand on its own. The young boys were disappointed. Who reached the club early is a clause which is describing the young boys. So this clause is a subordinate clause which is doing the work of an adjective here. You will notice that this clause starts with the relative pronoun who. Now this part, that it was booked for a private party is a subordinate clause which is a noun clause because it is doing the work of a noun. That it was booked for a private party. Why were they disappointed? They were disappointed that it was booked for a private party. So it is doing the job of a noun and is a noun clause. So this sentence is an example of a complex sentence that is made up of one independent clause and more than one subordinate clauses. Here we have two subordinate clauses. Now that you have learned about complex sentences in great detail, can you identify the complex sentence here? Ramesh is studying hard for he wants to score good marks. Ramesh, who is the school captain, is my good friend. Now let us take each sentence and see if it is a complex sentence or not. Ramesh is studying hard for he wants to score good marks. Now this sentence is made up of two clauses. Let us first identify the clauses. Ramesh is studying hard. He wants to score good marks. Now both these clauses are independent clauses which have been joined by the coordinating conjunction for. So this sentence is not a complex sentence. It is a compound sentence. Let us look at the next sentence. Ramesh who is the school captain is my good friend. Let us first identify the clauses in this sentence. Ramesh is my good friend. This is the main clause here which can stand on its own. Who is the school captain is another clause but it is not an independent or main clause but a subordinate clause which is joined with the main clause with the help of a relative pronoun who. So this sentence, Ramesh, who is the school captain, is my good friend, is the complex sentence here. So what have we learnt about complex sentences? We have learnt that a complex sentence contains two or more finite verbs. It consists of one independent clause and one or more subordinate clauses. We have seen that clauses are joined either by subordinating conjunctions or by relative pronouns or relative adverbs or question words. So now if you are given a sentence and if you have to identify if it is a complex sentence or not, what you have to do is first identify the clauses within it. You must be sure that it should have one independent or main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Now these subordinate clauses can be joined to the main clause with the help of either relative pronouns or relative adverbs or question words or subordinating conjunctions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, 
English, and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged, and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.